Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be looking at the crypto space as it stands right now. Today, a little bit more positive news, so you definitely don't wanna miss out on this. As we are all absolutely well aware of, yesterday and the day before, it was an absolute onslaught on the market. We've dropped to new lows. Uh, Bitcoin dipped as low as $17,000, Ethereum dipped below $1,000, uh, and the entire market took a big old dump. And uh, yeah, well, essentially just a bearish sentiment like we haven't seen in a very long while. Today, on the other hand, as we can see right here, uh, everything is looking a little bit better, uh, a lot less red. Over the 24 hours, we see that both the Bitcoin and Ethereum have grown around 10% of their value. Bitcoin is nice and comfortable back up to 20,000 and Ethereum is well above the 1,000 again. So that is looking very, very good for them. Of course, over the last seven days, they are still in a total red of minus 25%, but that has been there for a while, you guys. And uh, if we're just looking at how it is doing right now, as for today, uh, looking a lot better. Now, it has been a little bit of a bumpy road. Earlier today, we were still at around 18,000, but uh, a very sharp increase in price, followed by some more spikes. And now we have been around 20,000 for a while, apart from a quick drop back below again. Um, so it is weird to see uh, 20,000 doesn't seem to be offering a lot of resistance. They dip below, Bitcoin dips below 20,000 a lot, right? Uh, it's not like it's a uh, it's not like it's a solid uh, resistance anymore. Um, so that is very interesting to see. Hopefully now, of course, 20K will be a resistance point again, and they're not just gonna just tumble below it, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. As for the fear and greed index, we are looking at an extreme fear of nine, which is again, better than yesterday, but we are still an extreme fear and a nine is definitely not very good. But if we can keep this up over the last, over the next couple of days, then we will see improvements. Um, so if we just get it a little bit better every single day, that would be really nice. Um, but you know, we're gonna see, um, but definitely a big improvement from yesterday, although still extreme fear. Then moving on to our uh, main story of the day, which is of course the Elon Musk lawsuit of 258 billion. I hope you guys understand how big this is, how big 258 billion is. That is probably more than everyone who is subscribed on this channel will ever be worth times 100. Okay, so um, massive, massive lawsuit for you who for those of you who do not know, uh, it was filed to Elon Musk because he was supposedly taking part in the Dogecoin uh, pyramid scheme and he was promoting it. Well, uh, regardless, uh, Elon is not really phased by it. Uh, when we last discussed it, I went over to his Twitter. He did not have a response yet. I think we read the articles before he did. So definitely a reason to be subscribed to the channel. Um, but uh, he says, I will keep supporting Dogecoin. Uh, and I think that is uh, yeah, pretty clear language. Uh, that is just what is going to be, uh, that is just what he's gonna be doing. And uh, a pretty funny tweet here, uh, keep buying it then. And Elon Musk replies with I am. So that actually kind of confirms, well, if you want to use Twitter as a reliable source, it confirms that he owns Dogecoin and that he's actually still buying it as well. Uh, so that is very interesting actually. Now we can go on and on in this in, in this uh, tweet, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's more so just beeps, but uh, the original tweet, that's the most important one, uh, talking about how he will uh, keep supporting the coin. Very interesting. Um, if we go further into the article, it does go a little bit further on how uh, Billy Marcus talks about how he, uh, his, you know, his vision on Dogecoin and Elon Musk seems to be agreeing with him. Then going further, there is also a Elon Musk deep fake so I'm not gonna play the whole thing. You can you can check it out for yourself if you want. But uh, this is a deep fake uh, about Elon Musk supposedly supporting and promoting a uh, crypto uh, platform, uh, offering 30% returns. And uh, well, I'm not gonna go too far into it because it is completely fake. And he even says it himself. Yikes! That's definitely not me. 
but anyone with a brain cell can just kind of figure out that the audio isn't right and that the phase doesn't add up and it's just fake. Okay, you guys. So uh, if some of you out there thought this was real, it's not, it's fake. Um, and if some of you didn't know about it, now you do. So there is quite some Elon Musk stories going around and I will keep you guys up to date. So make sure you're subscribed and you like the video. Going uh, to another uh, story on Twitter because it never ends over there, you guys. <laughs> Um, the president of El Salvador, Nayib Bukele. Am I saying that right? You guys let me know, right? Uh, I see that some people are worried or anxious about the hashtag Bitcoin market price, he says. Uh, he then goes on to say, my advice, stop looking at the graph and enjoy life. It's pretty easy to say for a president, but uh, <laughs> if you invested in Bitcoin, your investment is safe and its value will immensely grow after the bear market is what he says in uh, his tweet i'm quoting him right now and then he also goes on to say that patience is key so for el salvador of course bitcoin is a very important uh part a very important aspect it's not a very wealthy country with a lot of well let's say that currency isn't the best a lot of inflation so obviously that country is very deep into crypto and the president as well for him or for his country but also mainly for him it, it is good if bitcoin does good right so this tweet, I'm personally, and again, this is not financial advice, it's just my personal opinion. I'm not gonna take it to, I'm not gonna take it at face value per se, because this guy has so much interest to have Bitcoin very high. So I'm not gonna listen to him and be like, oh, he says that Bitcoin will be great. So let's just trust him completely though. Uh, do I believe myself that Bitcoin will be fine? Yeah, but not because he said it, but it is still worth mentioning that, uh, you know, that, that he tweeted this. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, El Salvador introduced Bitcoin as a legal tender on September 7th, 2021. Uh, at that time, the market price of Bitcoin was around 50K. Um, so then there's a little bit of context for you guys. Uh, why is a president talking about Bitcoin? That's why. All right, you guys, and that is pretty much it. I'm gonna quickly scroll through the altcoins before ending the video. We have Selena with a plus 10% over the last 24 hours since I last did a review. Uh, we have Dogecoin actually doing pretty well. I assume that it has some correlation with the tweet of Elon Musk. Uh, obviously, Dogecoin is very susceptible to Elon and to Twitter and to everything. So I assume that much of this growth uh, can be uh, contributed to that. Uh, as for Shiba, they're doing great, looking strong. Uh, let me scroll over, see if we can find, find Cardano anywhere. Or did I just scroll past Cardano? Ah, there we go. Uh, Cardano with a 6.4% growth, but still not reaching that 5 cent, uh, which is very uh, annoying to see. <laughs> Obviously, uh, I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with this coin. So uh, hopefully it's, uh, it's going to go up a little bit. All right, but you guys, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you are subscribed. Join our Discord for all of the notifications and to just chat up with us. And with that being said, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.